Hi viewer, my name's Don. Thanks for joining me on this trip to the island of Capri near Naples, Italy. I traveled to Capri with 13 students during the Christmas period in 1975 from Wawa, Ontario. We drove to Naples uh, on the upper part of this map and took the ferry trip across to Capri. The island looks like this and it's not very large. Here is a mosaic of the island on a wall. To give you an, an advanced idea of what it's like, here's a painting of the Capri Harbor. Here's another more impressionistic painting. Well, I've got my 13 students on board. We're on the ferry and there's Capri directly ahead. We're coming into harbor. Here's the harbor, and as you can see, Capri is very mountainous. As we say here in Australia, here's my mob, two of my students to the left. A slow panoramic view of the harbor. The Marina Grande is truly uh, picturesque. Everywhere you look, there's fishing vessels. Lands had a premium in Capri, and the sidewalks are very narrow. This picture postcard shows the harbor. One can take a funicular to the top of the mountain and have a magnificent view in every direction. Like Mediterranean waters everywhere, the water is crystal clear and a deep blue. Another harbor view. Houses climb up the cliffs. This road is like a sinuous snake climbing the cliff. The Italians, like the Romans, are very fond of mosaics. There's lots to see and explore on the Isle of Capri.
off the coastline, there's some unusually shaped uh, rocks emerging from the ocean. We caught the funicular up the mountain from here. Here it is climbing the mountain. For a tremendous view. The Italians still follow the Roman tradition with lots of sculpture. These are Italian children dressed up. Capri is above all a tourist town filled with luxurious hotels, coffee shops, and restaurants. This one was very nice, and here's its mosaic. Accommodation is in the five-star class. The Italians love flowers on Capri. It's an adventure exploring the narrow street. There are lots of caves on Capri. This one's above ground, but we decided to visit the Blue Grotto, which is at sea level. One must queue up to get a boat. It's almost a traffic jam trying to get into the Blue Grotto. A very low entrance admits you into the cave. Once inside, a little bit of sunshine emerges through the hole and turns the water an electric blue. Perhaps over the stated, but it is worth a visit. It's quite an interesting adventure. Lastly, let's look at a few Roman ruins. The Emperor Tiberius lived on Capri, and there are still some remains of his villa. Well, we're all worn out, and it's time to catch the ferry back to the mainland. Thanks, Bjor, for joining me on this quick trip to the Isle of Capri, Italy. Have a really good day.